Welcome back to the Saginaw Country Club's website for the third tip of the year. My name is David Tukarski, the head golf professional here at Saginaw Country Club. Today I'd like to talk about flexibility. And the reason being, a lot of times when I'm teaching, the student isn't able to make the golf swing that we both want to make. And flexibility is the number one reason why. I'm going to give you a few stretches today that everybody, want, everybody should do, whether you come out to play or practice, every single time. And all of these stretches we want to do in our posture as much as possible. The first stretch I'd like to introduce is simply putting the club behind your shoulders and getting into your athletic stance and posture, which is when your knees are flexed and you're out at the waist. I'd like you to rotate back and through. Now doing this, it's important that there's three parts of your body that are absolutely isolated. Your head and both of your knees. As I do this stretch, it's okay if you're not flexible enough to go back all the way because what we don't want to do is get into this where the head's moving and these knees are moving all over. That will actually work against your golf swing. But if you do it correctly, where your head is staying very, very still and both of your knees are very isolated, you're going to move back. And if this is as far as you can go, that's fine. Ideally, I'd like to have you go all the way back to here. But if that's as far as you can go, it's fine. And you work through the other way. This is very important to do in your posture. That's the first stretch. The second stretch I'd like to introduce to you is just to stretch out the inside of the arms. That's really good for your shoulders, but this is good for the inside of your arms. Same thing, where you're in your athletic stance, your golf posture, you're letting those arms hang and you go back this way and this way, both ways, nice and slow to stretch out the inside of your arms. So now we stretch out your shoulders, your arms. The third thing, and maybe the most important thing, is to stretch out your lower back and your hips. And this is what we refer to as a pretzel stretch. Okay. It's very simple. Whichever leg you'll be picking off the ground, you'll hold your cane here, your golf club, and I want you to put your right leg just over your left knee. As you sit down into a nice pretzel stretch, you can feel your lower back and a lot of parts of your hips stretching out. This will allow you to rotate both ways. So this is what we refer to as a pretzel stretch. Sit down. Ideally, I'd like you to do this for at least 10 seconds, do it very slowly, but those are three very good stretches. Your shoulder turn, the inside of your arms, and stretch out your hips and your lower back. Hopefully that will make things a lot more easier for you to move both ways and make playing golf here at Saginaw Country Club that much better for you.